Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back here at Balea River. And this is another day. The initial time that I had put out that last episode was the day before, but I just got a little bit too tired to do another session. So I am back here today, hopefully a little bit more rested. And I might be able to get things a little bit more higher quality for you guys. I have gotten a few tips and tricks from various viewers and subscribers. Thank you very, very much. That is greatly appreciated. And one of the biggest things that I've been told is that, like they say, uh, spinners are very good around here. However, so is the feeder fishing. And if you want to go for the taman and the burbot, you are best to do that here in some of these holes. And they do go for a number of things, but if you want to catch the big guys, it's apparently night crawlers. It seems to be the big, big thing. And grasshoppers, if you can get them. I've never been able to get a grasshopper, honestly. Let me check. I'm going to come over here to the, well, is it over here? Tackle store, yep. Yeah, every time I come to get grasshoppers, they're already sold out. So, I can't really test them yet. Bait, 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 bait. There we go. But we'll check here just to see if maybe they got some in finally. No, still, still out of stock. Damn it. So, we're just going to have to trust your word, guys. <laughs> I don't have the ability to get that. So, and I don't have the skills to collect them, even though if in real life I have them. Collect a grasshopper in a heartbeat, but. Anyway, I wanted to check this out in daytime a little bit more because last time it was getting dark. You couldn't see as well. But I did notice there is a couple of cool things. Oh, that's the ATM. <laughs> that's cute. And a cassette player. I wonder if that works. Let's see. Well, that's weird. Yeah, there you go. Alright, <laughs> enough good for the round. I like to goof around though, that's always fun. Well, we got some tunes, that's pretty cool. That's always cool, anyway. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, the hole that they keep talking about is this one over here, it's... 6.5 meters deep so that's probably what we're going to do is throw at least a couple of feeder rods out here I am going to do a little bit of spin casting but I also want to try that out too too all right let's see what do we got here in our situation here guys all right looks like I've already got this set up with a night crawler I will tell you before I signed off last night, I hooked into something that was pretty damn big off a Nightcrawler. And I fought him for about five, maybe ten real-time minutes, and he got off the hook. And I was so ticked off. I was recording it, and I thought, I got so aggravated I didn't even keep the recording. But whatever he was, he was big, and he would have been a beauty to have pulled out of here, but... He got away, he won that time, and sometimes they do win. The fish sometimes do win. That's just the way it goes. But what we're going to do is we're going to toss this thing. Wait a minute. Make sure I am way out there. So it looks like I should be, in theory, in the hole. And I'm just going to let that sucker sink, because I am not... Looks like the current might have caught it a little bit. Now we're going to close the bale and then we're going to put it down. Because I want to get as much of that thing out there as I can. And I don't want to short change the length. Let's see here. Let's get it taut. Alright. Now we're going to put... Let's see. 
Okay, we're a little bit to there. Let's go this direction. I know this is my third rod, but it might be better to do that. Let's see. Three. Uh, looks like I got a night crawl on it, too. Uh, maybe I should make things up, mix things up just a little bit. Let's see here. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. B. What? Well, like they said, they also go for these pieces of fish. At least I know the burbot do. I don't know about any of this other stuff, but let's go ahead and try our pieces of fish. Nah, 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 nah. Let's do, let's do the mayflies. Let's do the mayflies. The only reason I'm doing that is because it's still pretty daylight. Now, once it gets dark, I might switch over the pieces of fish. So, we're way out there. Yeah, there's quite the current there. And let's put her down. Alright, I think we have got those two set. Now, what did I have? I think I have my Corona here. Hopefully this is going to be sufficient type of lure that I need. I've, somebody told me also that the hunters do very well here, so... Yeah, the hunter lures are extremely popular on the uh, quarry lakes. So I'm going to take a look at this, guys. Let me see here. Uh, oops, sounds like I might have a bite here. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's take a look at this. I think this was the... Yep, the mayfly. We'll see what we got here real quick. <laughs> they said just about any of the larvae are very popular here. Apparently the caddis fly is real popular. I might throw one on there just to see what I might get. Because there's some species here I don't think I've seen. This is probably just a perch. Yeah, it's just a perch. Alright, let me see. I think... That hook maybe... Yeah, oh, good gosh. No wonder. Let's go ahead and switch that hook out. We'll get something a little smaller. Let's go with a... Let's go with medium, medium of the... You know, about around 8 o'clock. La, 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 man, I cannot tell. Let's go with somewhere around medium number eight that should be good okay and let's see do I have the caddis fly I thought I did yeah I do okay let's throw a caddis fly on there see if we might pick up something a little different might still get just a perch but let's let that drop. All right, that looks good. All right, now back to my explanation before I get interrupted here. All right, we are going to go down here to lures. And the hunters are these here. They're called the... Karuna hunters. There's a number of types, sizes, weights, and colors. And one of the ones that's been very, very popular with the fish around here has been this particular one. This one has a pink to blue shade. Uh, this has done pretty well for me. This one, it's green, as has this one. I don't know if I have anything smaller than that or not. May, I might have some of them on my other rods, so I may need to 
take a quick look here in my inventory. See if there's anything on my heavy. What's on my heavy? Okay, I don't have anything there, so. I have the Karuna Vigo on there. <clears throat> oh, that's an Asteria. Well, I guess that's all I got. Anyway, that's probably enough to work with. But the Vigos do really well. There's a couple here I don't have the skills to use just yet. Any, I've not been able to use cranks yet, which is sad. But I might go ahead and give one of these hunters a try, or maybe at least one that's a little smaller, if they come smaller. And the only way I can find that out is to go check out the tackle. Go check out the tackle. Go check out the tackle. Over here, dummy. Um... Let's see here. Let's see here. Ooh. I have not seen these. These are beautiful. These are Heaven Creek Elegant Spin 3. Hmm. I have to check some of these out, guys. These look like a pretty darn nice. They might have come with the new update, too. Yeah, they do have smaller ones. So I think what we might do, guys, we might see about getting... A smaller hunter. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, some of these are good size. I mean, look at that. They get the 45 grams here. So I'm going to try this. And if they have the one that... Yes, they do. They have it. Let's buy it. We'll buy that one. buy that one. Oh, they're kind of pricey, but hey, you know, with got to get quality, sometimes you got to pay the quantity. All right, we are getting kind of dark here, guys, so not so sure that we're going to catch anything off that at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Probably put my hysteria down, batten down the hatches. We'll see if anything happens. So I will be back. I put on my old Karuna Hunter, the striped one, just to see what I might pull out of here. Let's see what we got here, guys. Ooh, -hoo, nice chub. Very nice chub. You get some cash off of him I guarantee you that yeah I think I'm gonna stick with the uh, this one for now but the one I'm using by, by the way guys never failed me but it's the Karuna Hunter 1-002 with this kind of perch like skin works very well we're just gonna kind of keep tossing this out in the hole and doing a bit of a jig step to see if anything will go for it because if there's perch and there's a lot of perch around here the big guys are probably eating the perch that's just a guess so but I kind of like to cast it out and I don't close the bale until I'm I see that line go straight and that's when I start to retrieve that's worked for me a lot in the past over in Quarry Lake, so don't see a reason why I won't work here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go back to it. If anything else comes up, hopefully something a little bigger than that, but it would be cool if it were. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Here we go. We got something serious this time. Maybe another chub, but it looks like it's decent sized. Yeah, a little bit bigger than the last one. We're getting some good chubs. The chubs are always really good for cash, guys. If you find a spot where there's a lot of chubs biting, you can't beat it because these guys will keep bringing in the cash. Cannot beat it. Well, I'm really fighting a serious current over here, though. That's one thing I've noticed. 
and over towards that rock it gets a lot more shallow so I'm not going to get anything big over there even though I didn't exactly mean to cast that over there but I'm going to try casting downstream a little bit see if I can't I wonder if I can get up on this rock Oh, I can't get up on the rock. Are you serious? Damn it. Should be able to get up on the rocks. Can't get on that rock either. Damn. That sucks. How about this one? Nope. <laughs> I can't climb on any rocks. That stinks. I like rock climbing. Anyway, <laughs> I think what we're going to do is we're going to cast this over this way. Let the current take it down and see if anything is big and lurking out there. it would be so cool. Couldn't tell you if there is. Couldn't tell you if there isn't. Okay, we looks like we got us a decent sized bite here. Let's see what we got here, guys. Okay, he is not coming along too willingly here. A little more friction on the old brake. After that last one that got away, I'm going to try to keep the tension on this guy. Apparently the bait of choice of these guys seems to be night crawlers. I mean, apparently caddis flies and mayflies go well too, but this is what they like. Let's see what this guy is. I think... Oh, I got a sterlet! Cool! Awesome! I'll be damned. This is the first one of these I've caught, guys. They are so freaky looking. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep... Actually, I think I'm going to get a picture of him because he's kind of cool looking. I am going to keep you my little friend. Yeah, all the sturgeon look odd. They're just a really cool looking fish. family of fish. Very, very ancient. Been around during the time of the dinosaurs. <clears throat> and of course they just kept on going. Okay, let's go ahead and set that down, see if we can't get something else here in a little bit. But that was pretty darn cool. That was pretty cool. Pretty good XP. He wasn't huge, but I guess it doesn't have to be huge to get the XP from those guys. But yeah, right now I'm just kind of running a gauntlet of different types of spinners just to see what they're going after. Uh, hold on just a minute, guys. I think I have a situation here. Something is on this hole and it means business holy crap a little more friction on there but that thing was heading for the hills there for a minute oh I think this is one of those ones I had earlier he got off the darn line too we're gonna have to fight him too much slack because if he gets too much slack he'll do what the other one did and get off the hook. This is one healthy fish. Okay, he's starting to weaken.
Yeah, he's starting to get tired. Come on. This is a pretty heavy line. I think this is a 17 pound line, so he shouldn't find it too easy to break. Come on. It's going to take a little bit of time to get in, but I think we got him. Here he comes, guys. No idea what we got here, but we will find out. A Xander. Nice one, too. Very nice Xander. 2.157 kilogram. 1,482 XP points. It's nothing to sneeze at. Looks a little rough for the wear there in his tail. <laughs> Looks like he's been a few scraps. But yeah, not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. I am going to grab a good pick of him. Not bad. We will keep him. So far, it's a Sterlet and a Xander. We've got now this hole. Let's see what else we can get, guys. And I might have spoke just a little too soon. Looks like we got one on the other line here. Whoa. Seems like they are biting right at the moment for some reason. Now he's not as big as the other guy was. Oop, shoot. Don't want the friction up that high. Okay, something. I'm getting some weird stuff going on with my mouse. It's rolling up and down like it shouldn't be. Okay, there we go. I think my cord was touching it. Alright, let's see what this guy is. Wow, that's a good size perch. Damn. 1.114 kilogram perch. Well, they said they came big around here. They were not lying. Toss that dude back out there. And we'll keep on keeping on. Sounds like we've got us another fish on the line. Just not sure which one it is. I think it's this one. Yep. They've been biting pretty good. Yeah, it is a little bit dark. I had to step away for a second and time goes by faster in this world than it does in the real world. We are going to see what we got here. Something more of the same types of stuff, or if it's something new, or... Oh my gosh, that's a pretty good size common roach. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Alright, let's toss that sucker back out there. Put her down. <coughs> All right, they're set. It's night time now, so I don't know how well the spin casting is going to do. Probably not too great. But I might try a little bit of it just to see. Alright guys, it looks like we've got something on this line here. 
we have definitely got a decent sized fish. Not monstrous, but decent. Yeah, the best time to fish here is definitely during cloudy weather, late evening, early morning. And now it's going to, I think it might rain. I'm hoping it does, because that just makes it better. Ooh, another sterlet. Cool. I like these little guys. Yeah, I like sturgeon. I think they're kind of a cool looking fish. But yeah, it seems like we're doing more, having more luck with the son of a gun. Holy crap, that was uh, sudden. I mean, I literally just laid that down. Bottom fishing. Once it gets cold, cloudy, and rainy, man, you better, you better be over here because they are ready to go. They just, they don't do squat when it's sunny, really. I mean, it's occasionally you might get something, but it's this dark, dismal, nasty weather that they like. <laughs> I can't really tell just yet. Nice burbot. Nice burbot. He was definitely a hungry guy. I tell you, he did not mince any words about wanting that cra uh, cra I want to say crayfish. Nightcrawler. <laughs> Alright. Now well, that was fun. Yeah, I was just going to come over here and talk a little bit. I figured it'd be another little bit of a wait because there's, you know, there's there's some weights. A lot of times there is with bottom fishing, and that's that's fine. But he wasn't going to wait. He wanted it now. <laughs> but anyway, I throw my hysteria out there too, and I thought I'd try a mayfly. Just a regular mayfly, not a mayfly larva, just to see, mix things up a little bit, because Dula did say they like mayfly larva here too. So, figured I'd give them a shot. Keep things mixed up a little bit. But as soon as morning breaks, I think I'm going to break out the old spinner bait and try again. Should have more luck if it stays cloudy. That's what I'm hoping. All right, I heard a jingle. I heard it. I think it's this one. Come on, you can be more serious than that. Are you serious? Yeah, he's serious. Yeah. Not looking like he's a big fella. Could be another of those darn crayfish. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of crayfish. I've caught like five or six of them so far. Little buggers. If my bait making skills were a little higher, I could be making lots of bait. Yep, that's what I got. I'm sure of it. You see? <laughs> uh, these guys are driving me crazy. Okay. Just for that, we're going to keep you. <laughs> Little bait stealer. <laughs> yeah, if my bait making skills were a little bit higher, I'd be cutting him up and making crawfish cut out of him. Instead of just selling him or whatever. Because that's really good bait. 
Yeah, I'm not so sure how well we're going to do with the spin casting this morning because the sun appears to be coming out. Let's go ahead and grab his hysteria. I didn't get anything off the mayflies this time. Aha! That sounds like one that's a little more serious. Oh, yes he is too. Aha! We have a serious real fish here going on. Come on, fish. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Let's see what we got here, guys. I don't. Oh, wow. That's a nice bream. That's a nice bream. Nice bream. Nice bream. <laughs> All right. We'll keep him. All right, guys. I'll tell you. I'm sure I've got more than enough footage for an episode here, and you guys are probably getting a little bored of me saying, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and catch this fish, blah, 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 and I'm not catching anything. Well, i got to keep practicing. It, like I said, this type of, these type of fish are not my area of expertise. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.